Hello right, guys, this is something that was actually come up on Facebook today and I thought it's quite good. Um, it was, I think the guy is Hindu and he was talking about the five, five letter word that is like the most, I think it's the most content, most happy, whatever, is the, the word smile. And he was right on that because like he was saying, if you, if you can, if you've got a problem and you can deal with it, then smile about it. Don't let it worry you. If you can't deal with it, say, smile about it, don't worry about it, because you ain't going to be able to do anything about it, you can't influence it. And then if it's not really relevant, same again. Because a lot of the stuff we have today is trying to drag us into um, politics and whatever for the sake of it. So this is why I like MGTOW, because MGTOW actually says, hand up, don't want to know, pushing it to one side. Um, and I agree with that because it's in there with everything. It's like today with Donald Trump walking in front of the Queen. Now I already put a comment relating to why that's not correct, but it doesn't mean I agree with the monarchy. It just means I understand what what, what they did was wrong. But at the same time, I'm not getting argumentative with that about it because, in all honesty, I I couldn't care less. You know, I'm not the Queen's servant, although. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure the Queen sees us all as her servants, but um, ultimately, this stuff is often pushed on us to keep us busy with arguing with each other, because it stops people looking at the real truth. And the whole thing about the Brexit thing right now, I'm seeing stuff coming out where people say the Tories do this too. Sorry, the Labour Party did a lot of it. It's nothing about Tories or Conservatives. The fact is, the game is being played. That's it. The fact is, the Brexit you're looking at right now was already predetermined. It's a bit like with Trump and the oil industry, uh, the coal industry coming out. That's sort of, I mean, from my personal point of view, that's just come out of the blue. Where did that come from? That's a little bit of a uh, question over any lobbying money being moved around. I know some of my American friends are going to go, ooh, but the point is, that's what I ask. I don't get involved in it in the sense where people are trying to go, well, you're anti-Trump or pro-environmental uh, or whatever. It's quite simply, well, why has he made that move? That is the question. But at the same time, am I bothered? The answer is no. It's America. I'm not American. It's not my problem. It's just that sometimes people will try and get you into this stuff and then I'll just have a two minute chat and move on. That's the important bit. This is what that guy was saying when he was just all about smiling. It's quite simply just dismiss this stuff. Because you're not going to be able to change it. You can't influence it, you can't change it. MGTOW stuff, I can honestly say, you can influence people with it. The same with FIRE. Um, financial independence and retire early. You can influence people's choices with it. Getting debt freedom, you can influence people's choices because these are individual things. Uh, they are not trying to move a mountain which is change an entire government which we already know is bought and sold. Doesn't pick a country. Um, this is the problem we, I mean we've had, I mean, talking to a friend of mine who was on about the, the reduction in wars in Europe um, through NATO and the EU etc. But it's also creates stagnation and increase in com corruption for what I'm seeing. Because people aren't getting overthrown the way they used to. <laughs> because it's all about the money. People uh, grumble and they'll go off to the garden centre on a Sunday morning rather than actually go and get a placard and go and stand outside the government office. Um, that's the way it's going. And it's been set up that way and people are becoming very easy to control. Because the worst they do is they go on Facebook or on YouTube. So this is why I'm saying the smile stuff's important. Focus on your own personal development. Focus on keeping yourself content and happy. Getting dragged into this negative stuff just does not have any positive upside. Just smile, move past it. But also in the Philippines, smiling goes a million miles. You know, at the end of the day, smile at people, people appreciate it. People appreciate being noticed. And it's not about sexual desires or something, it's just being polite. You know. You see a lot of the guards and stuff where people are sort of like the big grudge having their bags or something so it's going into the mall. But a quick hi as you go in and a smile, they love it. 
There are a lot of people that you know that actually notice them as the fact they're doing their job and they're not bothering anybody. In fact, they're there for your own safety because in that environment you've got to be careful. But anyway, thanks for watching.